2019 Ram 1500. Um, on this video, I'm going to show you how to pull the cowl off. On this truck, they have the corner pieces up here, the wipers, and then a, a series of uh, little clips down here. These are like a two piece clip. You can take and pop the top center part out, and then you can pop the other part out underneath it. That's the easiest way to get them out. You would probably just take a prime off from the bottom, but but if you do that, you're gonna probably break the clip itself. Um, the other things about this on this one is the the moldings up there, the little corner pieces. You have to be careful with them. They have clips on them that are metal and mi mixed with plastic. And when they're mixed with plastic like that, a lot of times you end up uh, breaking the plastic more than using the having the metal come out the way it's supposed to um, so I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna just work quietly and let you guys watch I got something else to say I'll say it underneath the caps for the wipers are 15 millimeter nuts And on the caps, I just take the little recess right there. It seems to just take a little tool and pop in them. That pops them right out. This truck's got a 5.7 That used to mean something. I don't know if it does as much today as it did 50 years ago. But a lot of the modern Emmys are pretty cool, I guess, even though they're ending production on them. Everything's turning into electric, I guess. Good or bad, I don't know. I think it could be good, and I think it could be... Alright, to get these off, you can either use a puller, or what I do is I usually just try to grab right here and I'll twist it a little bit like this. Just to try to get it to... Let go. They can't get it to let go easy. Then I'll grab a puller. Um, on these rams, they're, uh, they're they're really fragile. The window, the wiper motor setup. The, I guess what would they call it? I don't remember. Brain left right at the moment. But there's a a word for them. What they are. And if you're not careful, you can actually break the clips off. I've actually done it one on ones. They have a truck from the north, like Minnesota or somewhere like that, and it, it uh, had a lot of corrosion built up on, on the edge of the, the thing here. And I gave it a quick back and I pulled it out. Like I said, they have metal clips on these. You can see right in there, the metal clips that pop into the plastic. And like a lot of times, like say, the plastic will break right here and the clip is useless, you have to buy a new one. Um, so that's all there is on that part. I haven't got to the other side yet, but another thing I want to show you, I guess we'll work on the other side first. We'll get that taken care of and we'll come back. I'll turn the camera a little bit this way. And move my ladder over because it's easier to stand on the ladder than it is on the Yeah, my, my jungle safari hat on. It's, it's a nice March 2nd day that's 89 degrees in the sun. Same thing on this, same clips on this side. And then 
finish getting these little pieces off. It's almost off a couple of these. It doesn't take longer. What is time in here? Okay. You're paid by the hour. Doesn't matter as much as it does if you're paid by the job. Me, I'm paid by the job, so I think it'd be hustling a little bit more. But I just want to show you all how to do this stuff. I know there's a lot of a lot of guys doing home repairs or whatever. They need to take some of this out and they want to see what it is with no brake mat or even new auto glass technicians or whatever coming out to do, do these things. Alright, so we got all that off. The next thing is up here there's a retainer on the windshield and what and the cowl actually clips into that retainer on the windshield. So the, the easiest way to do it is just grab it and try to pull it up gently. Sometimes they don't like coming out of the retainers. Um, Buicks are some of the worst. They end up a lot of times wrecking the cowl, taking a cowl off. Well, there you go, guys. That's it. Uh, if you want to see any other videos like this, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'm, if people keep watching them, I'm going to keep making these videos. Um, it just, I don't know, I've been doing this stuff for over, over, God, it'd be 31 years this month. So it's like, why not show, share some of my experience with all you guys. So there you have it. Um, you guys have a good day. Thank you.